Hi, welcome to this podcast for uh, Chapter 14. Um, we're going to talk uh, mostly about leverage in this chapter. In fact, um, the final part of the chapter deals with uh, capital structure theory, and uh, we are uh, skipping that for this unit. So, um, as you recall from our previous uh, week, the capital structure is the mix of the firm's debt and equity. Now, in our previous podcast, we talked about, um, you know, the, the amount of long-term debt, preferred stock, and then a common equity. In this chapter, as we're dealing with leverage, um, we're going to consider preferred stock as debt. Now, I mentioned this concept to you very early in the quarter that um, preferred stock is technically equity, and for accounting purposes, we record it as equity. But for a lot of um, uh, financial ratios and financial decision making, preferred stock is lumped in with debt rather than common equity, or equity in general. All right, and uh, let's see. Uh, one of the concepts we're going to talk about is financial leverage. Financial leverage is you using borrowed money to enhance uh, profitability. And uh, as an example, it, financial leverage of 10% means that we have 10% debt and 90% equity. So the central issue, and and I hope. For most of you, some part during this semester, uh, during this quarter, you've asked yourself the question when we're talking about uh, making financing decisions, how do firms know, um, should they finance with debt or should they finance with equity? And that is um, one of the things we're going to talk about today, how we make those decisions. Okay, um, <clears throat> so one of the questions, can we use debt? meaning leverage, to increase the value of the firm's equity. Can taking on debt increase our stock price? Um, and the answer is, under certain conditions, uh, we certainly can do that. And we're going to look at a few of those um, in the a podcast in this uh, unit. Keep in mind, this is something you're probably already aware of, but when we increase leverage, we also increase risk. So when we're taking on more debt, we're also increasing the risk to the firm. Okay, so uh, leverage influences the stock price. A couple of ways that it does it. Um, well, I guess we're not going to get to that. Just a couple of measures of performance. We, we're going to refer back to ROE and EPS um, throughout these podcasts for this unit. So remember, ROE, return on equity, is uh, EAT earnings after tax divided by equity, right? In this case, common equity. Earnings per share is uh, EAT, earnings after tax, divided by the number of shares outstanding. Okay, so um, leverage related risk is a variation, is a, a variation in ROE and earnings per share. So business risk, uh, a business risk relates to changes in our sales price, costs, and so forth. And so that causes a variation with EBIT. EBIT, if you recall, is earnings before interest and taxes or operating income. Financial risk is an additional um, variation in, in return on equity and earnings per share uh, due to financial leverage. So the total risk uh, is this total variation um, in return on equity and earnings per share. That doesn't make that much sense to you right now, but you'll see some of those calculations in the next uh, podcast. Okay, so we have two kinds of leverages and therefore two types of risks that we're going to look at. Um, operating leverage, which actually we're going to do after financial leverage, but operating leverage uh, relates to the firm's cost structure. Cost structure meaning uh, what kind of um, variable costs do we have, what kind of fixed costs, what kind of mixed costs. And of course it's this operating leverage that impacts EBIT. 
Uh, financial leverage, this it deals with our capital structure. So one's the cost structure, one's the capital structure. And you know, as we have a change between debt and equity, this causes uh, financial risk. So operating leverage causes business risk. Financial leverage causes financial risk. All right, so that's a little overview, and then let's get into uh, financial leverage, which is the next podcast.